Hi everybody and welcome. Today I'm gonna to do a little product review. Uh, I like paint. I've tried lots of different kinds of paint. Um, as far as oil paints, I have my favorites. Um, and I have ones that I'm like, Ooh, stay away, stay away. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about one product that I came in contact with, kind of by accident or just kind of happenstance wise. And uh, that's what I'm gonna talk about today. Now, keep in mind that any type of product review that I may do is completely just my opinion. I am not sponsored, unfortunately, by anybody yet. So I don't have any preference that I can just say, oh, you know, because so-and-so supports me, this is why I'm pushing this product. So know that any kind of um, opinion that I'm giving is just that, it's just my opinion but it's also this opinion based on my experience with that particular product. So uh, today I'm going to talk about a paint that I came uh, to know through one of, if you're a, you know, Jerry's Artorama is a company, an online company, and it's also a brick and mortar um, art supply store that when on Jerry's Artorama's um, online website, they will do something called buy it, try it. Now that they'll make some kind of amazing deal for you to try a product. And uh, me being me, I take advantage of that every time I end up in that. I have actually through the buy it and try it, I have come into contact with products that I may not have purchased or considered otherwise, other than the fact that I'm getting a super deal on it. So I'm gonna try it. So here we go. So um, this buy it, try it was for paint, an oil paint. And this is what's so funny, it's got a sexy name anyway. So of course, bing, you know, I was all curious about that. And the product was called 12 Shades of Gray. Kind of, you know, like the 50 Shades of Gray, that's, you know, but it's 12 Shades of Gray. And, and they had the, the tubes that they were, you know, you, I think it was, you got for a dollar, you got to try one of these tubes. And I'm like, what, what do I have to lose? It's a buck, right? So I'm gonna try this paint just to see what it's like. And so, the first tube I bought, and this is probably it. No, it's, this is not it because I know I probably have gone through several of these tubes, but this, this is what it looked like. So you can see it's got that real sexy, uh, well, you can't really tell, but there's a lady and it's black, you know, it's black and white. And so you can kind of see, but this particular color was called violet gray. And I, I thought, okay, Normally, I am one to only want to purchase paints that I know have a track record for just being good performers. I have paints that I love, okay? I like Gamblin paints. It's one that uh, it's made here in the USA. I like Gamblin's products. I use most, I use a lot of Gamblin products and you'll hear me talk about that in some of my other uh, videos. Um, I like, Michael Harding's paints. Oh, they're so richly pigmented. They're beautiful, beautiful paints. Um, I, I, I do love his, his, his products. I will say it's one of those, yeah, you know, you get what you pay for kind of thing. Um, his, his paints tend to be a little bit pricey, but they're definitely worth it. I, there are some products of Michael Harding's paints that I, I can't, I don't think I can have a palette without his um, King's Blue Deep. It's probably one of my favorite colors. So uh, yeah, Michael's safe there. He knows that I'm always gonna get his paints, certain paints that I have to have of his. But, uh, and I also like Winsor Newton. Most of my large tubes that I buy, you know, the big, big tubes are almost all Winsor Newton tubes. So I do, I use a lot of different products, but I'm always, you know, I usually steer clear of the products that are mm, made less, well, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I don't wanna be unpopular for saying it and I'm sure people are gonna say things, but products that are oftentimes, um, paints that are oftentimes made in China tend to be less consistent with their pigment color. The actual color or hue is not consistent. And there's oftentimes they're not milled well, they're not as highly pigmented. Therefore, they're, they're uh, you know, you're putting it on your canvas, but it's just not happening. It's just not, you're just not seeing it. So oftentimes I'll tell my students to stay, stay away from a lot of like name, you know, um, uh, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna call out names, but 
um, big companies that make their own products for their stores and they have their own line, I mm, don't, I stay away from those. So here we are back to shades of gray. I got this, the first tube of paint that I got, I loved it. I was like, oh wow. And then of course they have 12 shades. So this is their 12 shades of gray box. And you can buy the large tubes like this, or you can get this little box. Um, and and in, in here, it's a, you can see it has all the little colors on the back. And the 12 shades of gray oil color set is highly pigmented, triple milled, and the set includes 12 21 mil tubes. Okay, a 21 mil tube. They're not huge, but you can buy the big tubes. But if you wanna get the set, you can see you get all these little fun colors, right? These, okay. Now, as an artist and as an instructor, of course, we all know that artists, we can mix our own grays. We do, and we do it all the time. Um, and I teach my students how to mix grays. Um, that, that, that goes without saying, that happens. But I will have to say that this box of gray colors, and they come in, I mean, of these colors, my favorite one to use has to be this yellow gray. This yellow gray right here is, a, it's oftentimes on my palette too, and it almost doesn't matter what I'm painting. This yellow gray gets used a lot. The, the um, you know, we have this first one. Here is, here it is again in the smaller tube, the 12 shades. And it's funny because the big tubes have the sexy picture of the, kind of like the sexy woman with a mask on or something. It's, I don't know what that is, but, but the little tubes just have like landscapes on them, whatever. But anyway, we have the violet gray, another great color. But as far as the actual colors, we have their blue gray, their brown gray, their cold gray, their green gray, their gray mid, orange gray, gray pale, Payne's gray, red gray, the violet gray, one of my favorites, warm gray, another one of my favorites, and the yellow gray. And that's your 12 shades. Um, a lot of the workshops that I have taught uh, when they're asking for, uh, you know, when they need to know the product list or whatever materials are needed for the classes, um, this has become one that, I mean, I'm on my last one that I taught in, um, in uh, Atlanta, I suggested this, this box of paints to, you know, you know, you can, ha you have, you know, I had a list of particular paint colors that we needed for uh, the two animals we were painting in the workshop. But I said, this is, you know, I recommended getting this too. The beautiful thing about this is it's almost always, you know, it's very cost effective. The price point on this is really low. And Jerry's runs this on sale all the time. Now I'm sure you could probably go online. Maybe you could find it someplace else. Amazon may carry it. I'm not really sure, but I always get it from Jerry's. And when they have it on sale, I'll pick up a box, even if I already have a ton of colors, just because it's it's that neat a product and it's become this essential into my other palette um, for so many of my other paintings that I gotta have this stuff. Um, and when I say crazy sale, I'm talking like sometimes under 10 bucks for the whole set, right? That is that is a crazy sale. So yeah, just to have these on, on, on hand is really good. The fact that these are the smaller tubes and you can see in comparison, you know, the big tube versus the little tube. And even the big tube is not that big. You know, we've, we're not dealing, we're not talking about giant tube here, but these are nice because they also travel well. I will keep the smaller tubes in my travel box of paint. So if I'm doing plein air or if I'm teaching a workshop someplace, I always keep these little suckers uh, in my uh, travel case. And these generally stay in my um, my box here at the studio. I, I usually keep those here. Um, but yeah, so I will definitely have to tell you that 12 Shades of Gray is a two thumbs up kind of a kind of paint product. And I highly recommend it. And again, I always purchase it on Jerry's Artorama. Uh, you can go and look for it other places but I promise you, they are the ones who run it on sale almost, you know, when you see it on sale, buy it. It's, you know, you might pay $12 for the set, 
I have bought it for less than $10 before if they have their super sale. But even if this was not on sale and you had to pay the full price, it's still worth it. It's worth it because it makes, it makes, um, your color mixing easier. Um, it, it just gives you a lot of really cool options. And especially if you're doing portrait work, um, it, it, it's helpful. I have used it in some really nice uh, portrait commissions and it does offer that, I don't know, just when you think of flesh tones, tone by definition means you're adding gray to color, right? So. These are great grace to add. I'm just telling you, good product. Definitely look into it. Again, 12 shades of gray, oil color set is, is, a, is a great product. So if you have something that you want me to review um, or you're curious about, definitely subscribe, and, you know, hit that little bell so you'll know when uh, another video is coming out and uh, we'll check back later. Thanks for coming. Bye.